Attention, the following video does not apply to men or to women who have never had a baby. I made this video exclusively for mothers like myself to help you get in shape. So if you're a mom who's trying to get in shape, you need to watch this short three minute video right now. Because in this video, I'm going to give you my top three tips that I use to lose weight and get my ideal body. Even though I'm insanely busy with my kids, my job and running our whole house. Hi, I'm Megan, and that's me with my babies, Jamie and Jesse. The reason I want to share these tips with you is because I know how tough it is to be a mom, because men and childless women really don't understand how difficult it is for us moms to lose weight. With kids and work, I literally had no time for myself, let alone go to the gym. I even started to believe that I was going to be stuck with this extra weight forever until I discovered this one thing that moms must do differently than regular women if they want to burn fat. So if you're a mom who's struggling with cellulite, belly fat, or you're just not happy with your weight, then you need to click the button right here to learn what you must do differently to burn off unwanted weight and to finally get back in shape. You see, a lot of moms believe that you must go to the gym every day or go on some extreme low carb diet to get in shape. But the truth is, moms just can't do what everyone else does to get in shape. There are a couple major things that happen to your body when you become a mom. First of all, when you become pregnant, your hormone levels completely change. You see, a mother's hormones are designed to store as much fat as possible so that you can produce a good supply of milk and a healthy baby. In fact, these hormone levels might take years to get back to normal, or in some cases, the changes could even be permanent. So it's not your fault. This is why most moms never lose their pregnancy weight, even though it's been years since they were last pregnant. And on top of that, here's another thing. You tend to take your kids with you to all the things you used to do alone. I mean, when you have children, all of your priorities change and your world revolves around them. But I remember the last time I tried taking my kids to the gym with me. Phew! It made me realize that I had to do something different than everyone else if I wanted a plan that I could actually stick to. Now, don't worry, I know this may sound discouraging, but I've got some great news. I'm going to share with you right now my top three tips that I share with all my fellow moms looking to lose some extra weight. And I used these exact three strategies to lose the weight and get into great shape after I became a mom. I've been where you are, and I want to help you stay healthy and active for your family. So let's get right to it. Tip number one, do home workouts instead of gym workouts. Honestly, I found that this one change could be the difference in whether you quit early or you reach your goals. Let me remind you of that day when I last took my kids to the gym. It first took me a while to get everyone rounded up and in the car, which in itself is a difficult task. Then, once at the gym, I had to get us all checked in, distract them as we hurried past the protein bars, they always seemed to want one, check them into child care center, and make sure that they didn't touch anything as we parade through the gym. What made it all worse was that I was called back to the child center a couple times, once for some paperwork, and once because someone had a meltdown. During that workout, I couldn't even focus on what I was doing because I kept worrying about my kids. By the time I got home from the gym, two and a half hours had passed. I was exhausted and definitely didn't have that happy feeling that you get after you're done working out. So no mom has time for all that. That's why I suggest that moms stick to mainly at-home workouts. The right workout that suits your specific needs will give you results much faster than going to a gym anyway. And make sure you limit each one of your workouts to be around 20 or 30 minutes. The truth is, if you're doing the right type of training, 30 minutes is plenty of time. And it isn't so long that it imbalances your hormones again. This method is the most convenient and time-saving way to get in shape and still have time for the entire family. Tip number two, avoid going on any restrictive low-calorie diets. Starving yourself is never the answer. And we already know that preparing gross, dry, bland diet food for you and your family won't work either. Trust me, my husband and kids hated my healthy meals. And I'm not going to lie, I didn't like most of them either. But I ended up having to prepare two different dinners, one for them and one for me. And it went on like this for a couple months. It took so much time out of my day. 
So instead of going on a diet like you usually do, you need to start eating delicious, healthy foods that your entire family will love. Because when you prepare a meal that's both healthy and that everyone loves, this is the only way you'll stick to a diet. You can start by researching some of your current recipes to find healthier versions. Try things like making meatloaf with lean ground turkey. Try 98% lean ground beef for burgers or tacos. Cook only with olive or coconut oil. And simply just serve smaller portions at a time. If the kids want more, they can have more. But the whole finish everything on your plate mentality just isn't good if you're not monitoring portion sizes. It may take a little effort at first to come up with new meals, but once you do this, not only are you ensuring that you get back in shape, but you'll also be helping your kids and husbands stay healthy at the same time. Tip number three. Use a mom-friendly, quick start program to ensure that you succeed. I'm going to tell you more about this key idea in just a second. But first, I want to explain how important it is to do this during the first two weeks of starting any new diet or fitness plan. The first two weeks are essential because it resets your body into get fit mode. And once you see how quickly you start seeing results, you'll stay motivated to keep going. Because I know from experience that if you get discouraged, you'll quit like 95% of all moms end up doing. And if I told you that I got fit on my very first try, or even fifth try, I would be lying. I've failed on more diet and training programs than anyone else I know. But once I finally figured out the right way to lose weight quickly, getting the body I wanted became easy. And that's why you need a quick start program of your own. This way, you can ensure that you succeed by starting off right and making it easy to stick with. So I want to give you my quick start program right now for free. Just click here to watch this short video and I'll tell you step by step what you need to do to see results fast. And I'll also give you more ideas to help make this change long lasting. Being a mom is one of the toughest jobs in the world and you deserve an award for it. So why not reward yourself with a lean toned body that looks great in your favorite jeans or even a bikini? So claim your award right now by just clicking here and watching this video. Here's to the new you and your healthier family.